Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. In 2014, 19-year-old Anthony Bronca was killed by a distracted driver. He was my best friend. He was my conscience. A law passed one year earlier made texting while driving illegal, but in order to get a ticket, drivers have to first be pulled over for another traffic offense. Anthony's father, Demetrius, says it's one of the weakest laws in the country. We don't allow our cops to pull people over for doing something that is extremely dangerous. Uh, we allow people to just keep driving. Legislation to strengthen the law by allowing officers to pull over drivers for texting behind the wheel alone has been filed every year since 2015, but concerns over racial profiling and privacy issues have put the brakes on any change. Under this year's proposal, drivers could still use cell phones for navigation purposes, but if they want to talk on the phone, it'll have to be hands-free. Last year, then-state senator, now Senate Minority Leader Audrey Gibson told us moving to hands-free would end concerns of racial profiling. If we had hands-free, then there's no question and there's no issue. But Bronca says this year's attempt leaves much to be desired. There are loopholes in there that allow people to, you know, escape by saying they were looking at their maps or something else, and that to me is an inexcusable. Keeping with current law, the legislation allows for cell phone records to be accessed only in cases resulting in death or physical injury, possibly quelling some of the privacy concerns seen in years past. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.